the teleprompter and the progressives are destroying America. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Bottom Line for Sunday, June this 5th. And my goodness gracious, what do we have going on here? We have the hidden president behind the teleprompter. So who's ever writing for the teleprompter and the progressives are destroying this country step by step. It is, it is, you can see that we may call them dumb, but they're not dumb. They're doing exactly what they want. They want to destroy the United States, and they're doing a hell of a job at it. Every moment that we speak, every moment that we keep our mouth shut, every moment that we don't vote, we are letting them destroy a, a once great America because our freedoms are already being destroyed. And there's, of course, the the World Economic uh, Forum is, is, is talking about recalibrating free speech I mean, really, we've already, we're already seeing a destruction. You can't say anything without it being something. Okay. Which again is, is a ridiculous thought process that we're watching take over. And of course, the puppet that is by name, the president. Okay. Has no idea where he's at. And of course, he makes these ridiculous statements like uh, pay down national debt day and you're going to pay it down with what? Okay, the inflation. It, you, you're going to try. They're going to try to inflate their way out of this problem, and we know that that doesn't work either, right? We we know that the games people play do not work. Okay, and they're but but they're, the reason that they're trying to inflate the way out is really the destruction of an entire class of people, the middle class, which is the the dominant people that we have. Okay, but that's what they're trying to destroy and ruin so that we can go into this globalization, socialism, socialism format, okay, which is, is totally ridiculous. And if you don't think it work, if you think it doesn't work, just take a look around the world at every nation that is like that. And you will see a lot of unhappy people and a lot of problems, uh, of course, in, in moving forward. But, you know, we've got, to, we've got to ask the question, who's going to fix what's broken? Well, the, the, the only fix is to really allow many businesses to go out of business, quit saving the banks, okay, let them go bust. Okay, you, you have to combine the the Keynesian economy economic system with the Austri- Austrian or with the you know the uh, um, the others because they both have different factors that are very solid. And both have th- that are very bad, and of course, in our in our Keynesian view, okay, we just keep printing money, okay, which tells you that the Fed can only kill the economy, which they're doing a hell of a job at now. And you again, you remember what you're looking at in markets is a mirage, because if you if you just take the amount of money you're going to spend, you will find out. That doesn't go very far. So even though the number has grown somewhat dramatically, it doesn't. It really hasn't grown because it has not even kept up with inflation. Okay, so that is a a very very big thing. But of course, again, when you're pushing for the great reset, that is exactly what you want to do. Okay, they they they're, they're creating the hatred. They're creating the animosities. They're creating the classes. And they're they're promoting more racism. That is exactly what this party is doing. So as they they're they're like if you remember Seinfeld, they're two faced. Okay, they they have one look that it looks like what they're saying, but what they're really saying is screw you, America. We're going to destroy you, and and that is a, it, it's like it's destroying through uh, a chemical warfare or, or through a bomb, but quietly. It's the, the silent killers is what they are. All right, but. Hey, look, the, the 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 stupidity of the student loan forgiveness program. Now, a where where would that money come from? So, what you're what they're saying, see, and this is again, this fits more into the story, is if we inflate 
more prices, then the money really doesn't cost us anything because we're, we're really just creating something which is in, in effect reducing our debt. Okay. It, again, it's, it's, th- this is so dumb, but it, but again, it's dumb in principle. But if you have a, a, an agenda, which they have behind it, then it's actually, you know, probably fairly smart. And that's, we have to be careful at who we think is not, doesn't get it. You know, I don't, I don't think it's that they don't get it. I don't think they want it. They don't want us to stop them from what they're doing. Okay. Uh, but, you know, you, you have a, a whatever it takes approach to do what they're doing. And, and I don't think they're going to stop. I think the only way they're going to stop is with the election. Okay. I think that's the only way that this continued slide that we're watching, the, the, the spiraling inflation, natural gas at three times what it was when President Biden took office, crude oil at four times what it was when President Biden took office, the price of oil, gasoline at the pump. I mean, there's, there's now places that are getting close to $9. And, and don't be surprised if 10 is right around the corner. Okay. I, I mean, you know, you've got a, 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 um, you know, you get a problem with China. China is now threatening the U.S. to stop trade talks or they're demanding halt of trade talks with Taiwan. OK, so now they're starting to to mix it up a little bit and to put that on top of with Russia. And Russia says that if any of the U.S. weapons or missiles hit Russia that, that are given to Ukraine, then then Russia will fire upon the West, <clears throat> which is us. Okay. Now, I don't know if they would or not. You know, I guess you have to be you have to be comfortable with with mutually exp- uh, you, with, with the the destruction of the world if you're going to make that move. But they are listen. Threats can become real, and I think this is something that we have to. You know, I think that we as Americans should take seriously. I mean, if you've watched what is going on here. With the lack of, of 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 police work and the lack of protection now that for the average citizen in the United States because of you know the because of what they've done to police you know if you remember we go back to the, the defund the police the the you know police are bad yeah, well listen I got news for you the police the military fire all the public servants God bless you all because this is this is exactly the problems that you're going to face as we move forward with with this destruction that they're putting out and you're going to be in the middle of it and, and again remember you remember that these guys work these guys and girls or women they work for nothing okay you know when you look at the bigger picture they're dedicated to, to, to protecting you and to abuse them the way they have been abused is, 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 is a it should be a criminal offense. But of course, again, we go back to that the, the left or the progressives want you to own nothing and be happy about it. Now, you have a a new thing now going on. You've got a, a new a restaurant tax, okay, for inflation. Okay. Now, again, you may say, oh, no big deal, no big deal. You know, nothing is a big deal until you're out. Okay. So you, you have many restaurants, and I'm assuming they're all going to go there, is they're going to have to add on to uh, overcome. They already listen, they already work on thin margins, okay? So now if they have to work on thin margins and now they get this, these, these input costs, these, these costs of buying are exploding, okay? So now if they're going to they're gonna have to pass it on somewhere, you know, the freight companies did this. With the first gas crisis years ago, and they may still do it. I don't, I'm not in touch with it anymore. But they used to add on, and then of course the, the fuel came down. They didn't take it off. But my point is, is that they're trying to make up for things, and this is very similar to the entertainment industry that started adding on, you know, the the uh, uh, resort fee, which is really just pure profit, okay, with no expense to it. And I think that, and these are costs that are probably going to stay, which is going to be really even more destruction. Because they're all going to do it, and, and I, again, I think that the direction that we are headed in is is, is very unhealthy, and I think you've, you're seeing some major riots already throughout the world in some of the poor nations because of the fight to fight for food. Now, with gas prices rising, 
with heat, heating prices or air conditioning prices rising, with everything that you do going dramatically higher and you not making enough to cover that, okay, you're seeing that we have a problem. Okay. And how is that going to be resolved? Well, it's going to resolve in, in poor nations and maybe here with fighting. And wait till we wait till we really become short on food. You know, we talk about this almost every week, but it's important to understand that, that everybody focuses on 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 the baby formula. Baby formula, what is it? Listen, I didn't have baby formula. Anybody in my age group, we didn't have baby formula. What was it? It's a it's a product that was created, but yet the news covers it every single day. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't have it, but why isn't it produced in this country? Why have we gone, if we have so many problems, which we do, I mean, those these are admitted problems, okay? If we have so many problems, we can solve almost every one of them. Why are we not solving them? Okay, do you ever ask yourself the question, why? I mean, we could produce baby formula here. So if the parent has to pay more, if it's that big of a deal, then I have to pay more. We can produce oil here. We don't want to do that. We can manufacture here. We can make our own drugs here. Why don't we do that? Okay. So r- rather we should we should fight over it and continue to piss away the American economy on nonsense. Okay. On green energy, which is a total hoax anyways. And again, they can't get it done. So it really doesn't matter. Okay. Or we should we should waste it. On, on 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 stimulus packages, which are even cause more destruction to this country. I mean, again, what 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 is America going to wake up? When are we as Americans going to wake up and understand that everything that is going on right now is not in your best interest? And I don't care whether you voted for for Biden or you voted for Trump or you voted for, or you didn't vote. But what's going on now is good for nobody. Okay, it's good for nothing. Okay, except for the elite. The people that they they yell and scream to you about on a regular basis, the elites, okay, this is who they are taking care of, and they're spoon feeding them everything. All right, you know, again, you can you can make whatever case you want, but the facts are very simple. Okay, nobody benefits from this high dramatic inflation that we're watching. Okay, with the exception of the ultra rich. So let the government continue to destroy from inside. So you've got you've got an inside people or an inside, well, you know, inside man used to be a term, but it got, got forbid I wouldn't be politically correct. But you get and they're, they're destroying it from the inside out. And and a lot of the damage that we are seeing may not be recoverable from from what we what, from where we are. Because again, you're building such massive amounts of debt that you're gonna have to set, settle with. And this is uh, this continues to make the case for the crypto world. Now, cryptos have struggled, and we'll talk about it in our market segment. But cryptos have struggled. But this is the exact purpose behind them is so that government can't f- screw around with them and and make them worth less than they are. But because that's what we continue to have. Re- remember, the fiat currency system is fraudulent. Okay, and that's because it gives the government control. The government should not have this much control over anything, all right, because they weren't the federal government was not supposed to be the number one employer in the world, nor as powerful as it is right now. Okay? It was supposed to be the overseer of all. And and between many of the things that are going on in this country, you don't think there's not the, the high probability of another civil war here or a revolutionary war, whichever way you want to call it. We're headed for problems unless Americans step up. And it's about time to get off your ass, vote, okay, and, and take care of this, unless you're happy with the direction we're headed. And and I don't know how anybody who could be happy in this direction. This is Bubba's Bottom Line, Top of Orbit, which we're going to stop by here for a break, and we'll be right back with more and the market report after the break. Well, kids, what's up? You know, listen, Markets are, are crazy. <laughs> they're, they're psychotic. And of course, you know, we have just the partners involved to help us navigate through these, these crazy things. And, you know, we know our, our hedging program and all kinds of things. And in fact, yesterday we did a, uh, uh, we did our, uh, Q and A session for, you know, every, all products, all people, everybody. And it was really pretty good. 
And we offered some great deals on our products, but uh, you know, a lot of the, the people that help us get these products out, and of course, there's Capital Trading Group, uh, CTG, which is our partner in, uh, you know, uh, on the uh, the day trader's dream, and of course, does all of our letter direction trading. I have other brokers, again, to give you full disclosure, but Capital Trading Group is the best I've ever seen, and they're the ones I could I could approve to be letter direction because I know that they have my members' best interest at heart. So, you know, listen, I trade all, they've got 90% of my money. Okay. They've got, they trade for me and I'm certainly capable of trading myself and I trust them enough to be, you know, to run with my partnership. So in the meantime, check them out. Capital Trading Group, info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. And it's scrolling on the bottom. You can get it there too. And, you know, trade your brokerage for equities and options. I mean, 10 bucks a month. Are you kidding me? In this inflationary time, that's saving, like saving a fortune. All right. Uh, but they're phenomenal at the way they do business. Okay. They've got, we can run our equity portfolios are run, if you want, auto traded through Trader with no charge. Okay. They're part of your membership. The hedging can be done if you pay the, the licensing fee to us. And of course, they're going to have cryptocurrency soon, which will be in your account. And that's uh, try.trader.com forward slash Bubba. That's try.trader.com forward slash Bubba. And of course, don't forget about our high school program. You know, we're trying to rebuild this thing because we got, you know, hurt in COVID. And of course, there's a lot of things that have to be done. And, you know, it's very difficult in this country to deal with people even going to give them something for free. They want to, they want to fight you because they don't want to teach it. That's another problem that we have that we're facing. In the meantime, this is Bubba's Bottom Line. Let's get back to the show and we'll talk about this week's mark, last week's markets. Bubba's Bottom Line. Here we go. Welcome back. It is Bubba's Bottom Line, Todd Bubba Horwitz. And of course, it is Sunday, June the 5th. And boy, this year's flying by and, you know, it's, the prices are going, are, are skyrocketing as time flies by. Uh, but as we take a look into, you know, the action last week, I mean, it's really slow. It's really scary. It's really, uh, the action has been really pathetic from a trading standpoint. Uh, and certainly we have seen, you know, a fairly dramatic turn after the big sell-off. Uh, now, again, I give you full disclosure of my opinion and I give you full disclosure of my position because they are today, they are not the same. Okay. So I, I, I our, our, our positions in the equity markets are we, we, we've now gotten long all equity markets. Okay. Uh, so we're long the four exchanges. Now, my opinion, which I, I don't trade off of because again, I'm going to follow the trends as, as I always do. But my opinion is that I, I'm still saying that this move, and it may not, not today. Again, what I say from a, a more of a macro perspective or from long term is not necessarily for today. It's just, it's just what I expect to happen. Okay. And, uh, my expectation is that we're going to see a 40 to 70% haircut to these markets. Okay. And I don't know if there's any way to potentially avoid it either. And, and I think we're, we're headed for a course. And if I were to script it out, to me, I think that the commercials and the big funds are waiting, are dying to get short, and they're allowing the retail traders to get sucked in once again, as once again, the markets fail to go down, and they don't want to push them too fast because they want to get off a lot of sales, and they're actually the ones who are providing the selling during these <clears throat> rallies. So we'll see. In the meantime, we are long. So I am long at the moment. Now, again, I'm always long in my hedged account, my IRA, but, you know, I didn't want to be this long here, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, in the meantime, crude oil, it's just disgusting. We have a, a, a party in power that could, that could give a shit, okay, that just wants to destroy us. So they're not going to stop this crude. I mean, crude's up to one, 120 and change. One, it's, gonna, it's going to 150, if not 200. All right, you're going to be paying... 10, 11, 12 dollars for gas. I mean, they're trying to stop you from driving, really. They're trying to, you know, again, it, this is an agenda, not a, not a something that they want to work with. In the meantime, we're still long. So, again, I can't, I can't complain from that standpoint. I mean, you know, we've been long crude oil for so long. I mean, it's been unbelievable. All right. Natural gas is, is tripled since Biden's taken office. Okay. We're still long that as well. Now, again, sounds cheap. Uh, it's pay as it is cheap compared to across the seas, right? In in the UK and in Germany, it's much more expensive. But it's you know again, we're seeing prices were skyrocket, and it's going to come down to: Do you want to eat, or do you want to heat your home? Okay, so it's it's becoming very scary. Uh, in the meantime, the metals, gold and silver and platinum. You know, silver and platinum actually had a nice little move last week. It got back over a thousand. 
but gold and silver, we're still short. I mean, again, they're in a downtrend. You know, look, I'm not telling you that it's a long term that we're going to zero. I think that it's a sale as a trade. You know, you have to remember there's trading and there's investing. And, and basically, net net right now, I'm probably flat gold. But on my, in my trading account, on the board, I am short, okay, in paper. So gold and silver, I think, are headed lower. I think they're probably 1,800 gold is a key level to watch. It's probably turning between 1,800 and 1,900 right now. And silver, you know, 21 is going to be a key spot, I think, to watch. Uh, the bonds and notes, you know, look, we're long them right now at the moment, but God knows why. I hate them. But I think they're going a lot lower. However, you know, again, the trend is right now is higher. They, you know, had to come up a little bit, but there's no way that they're not going to have to hike rates and these bonds aren't going to come down. But again, you have to, if you're going to fight the trend, you have to have enough capital to decide to fight it and how long will you fight it for. In the meantime, uh, they were higher again. And uh, in the uh, copper, we're going to reverse copper. Okay. And uh, we'll be long you know, you by tonight or tomorrow. It's up to you. And for those of you who are, who are, who are members, okay. And uh, actually, we reversed copper last week. I'm sorry, we're going to roll it forward. Uh, and of course, um, the grain markets had a rough tumble last week. Now, you know, again, I don't put much in what's going on in the grain markets right now. Why? Because it's very quiet. This is very typical action. You know, you shake out the week longs. There's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes in markets. And and to me, it would not surprise me. Now, I'm not making this prediction, but it, I wouldn't be surprised if grain prices a year from now are twice what they are now. And that doesn't mean it's great. It means that we're in bigger trouble and there's a bigger shortage and Mother Nature didn't participate. In the meantime, we're short corn, we're short wheat, and we're long soybeans. Uh, in, the, in the protein complex, we're short cattle, we're long hogs. Uh, I apologize. We're long feeder cattle now. So, uh, you know, but again, I don't think that cattle can continue much higher if oil continues higher. I think there is a direct correlation. You know, again, it's not any given day, but overall it's going to come down to do I want to fill my tank or feed my family? And then if I'm going to feed my family, how am I do it? Which brings us to hogs. I think hogs are, are, are going to, we're still long. I don't know how much room they've got to go. You know, at a buck 10, that's a pretty high, pretty steep price. Uh, but again, it's, it's, it's a, it's a reasonable price, especially for what's going on right now. And in the, in the soft cotton, we're short. And it's, you know, a little bit of a downtrend. I mean, I think it's going much higher as well. I think the commodities themselves will be going much higher, but for now we're short coffee. We're long. It's going higher. Uh, OJ, we're long and it's been going higher. Cocoa has been going lower and we're short. And um, uh, sugar is has been going up and, and we're long sugar. So I think it's a it's a pretty mixed bag of stuff. Okay, and I don't think that there's anything that you know to be crazy. And of course, Bitcoin, which I did forget, but I'm not going to forget it because I got it now. Uh, but Bitcoin is kind of flat. You know, it's kind of just hovering. You know, you've got a lot of forces. Uh, but I, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, again, I think that it's it's a fair and equal shot. Knowing if you if you're willing to recognize the risk in cryptocurrency and you're accepting it, then you could you could be potentially rewarded in a very large fashion. So I, I think that's something that again you, that's always something up to the individual that you have to make your mind up of what you want to do. Uh, I'm not I, again my investment if it goes to zero. I mean I won't be happy, but I'm not going to lose any sleep about it either. Okay. In the meantime, this is Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Todd Bubba Horowitz. It is Sunday, January, January, June the 5th. And we're going to step out for our final break and come back with, of course, our commentary. Bubba's Bottom Line, Todd Bubba Horowitz. Well, kids, you know, look, again, I'm not going to go through all the sponsors, but just look on the side or underneath in the car run. Uh, and remember our sponsors, Capital Trader Group, Trader Brokerage, and of course, our high school program. Again, these people have all been vetted by me. I use them all. So, you know, it's not like, I'm doing something that I don't use myself. And, and, you know, when I vet people so I can make sure that my members and people that we talk to can get a better deal and take care of themselves. All right, so let's get back to Bubba's Bottom Line with your host, me, Todd Bubba Horowitz. We'll get back to you right now. Welcome back. It is Bubba's Bottom Line. Of course, and it is Sunday, June the 5th. And, you know, there's so much to talk about and some, none of it's good. That, that's the real sad thing. But, but I think what I opened up with is the destruction of this country from the inside out, I think you have to take a real serious look at it. Okay. And again, forget about taking my word because I have an opinion. Listen, I am a libertarian by state, by nature. 
I'm more center. I'm not looking to be far left. I'm not looking to be far right. I don't like where either party sits today. Okay. But the destruction that is being created from the inside and the Republicans are helping too. So again, this is not only the, the left, but thank God for Joe Manchin, because if he hadn't voted away, we'd be in real trouble now. We've got a chance to get out. But you know, you can get to a point or a bridge too far. And then what are you going to do? And this is, this is where the hatred of the squad of America and the hatred of, of every, everybody is becoming much more serious. And because we have a president that is a no mind, now he was always a no mind before he had Alzheimer's. But now, for sure, it's official. Okay, but when you have nobody in charge, okay, and the, the little rats are around running, and they want to destroy this country, I mean, just think about it. Think about their ideas and what they're trying to do. Now, you cannot be thrilled with everything that they're doing, nor can you be thrilled with where we're headed, because we're in a, we're we're going into you know a a, a state of affairs that is not going to be healthy. And, and I think that you have to really think about it. I, I urge you to take the time to look about it and understand everything that I say. That's not, I'm not always right, but I will give you, always give you the facts and, and as I view them. And I think it's important that you at least get an understanding of what, you, what you're giving up for what you think you might be getting. This is Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Todd Bubba Horowitz. Everybody have a great weekend. As always, I thank you for being a part of the show. and. We'll see you tomorrow with the daily update, of course, and uh, next Sunday with another Bubba's Bottom Line. Everybody have a great weekend. Thank you so much, and we'll see you later.